everyone, welcome to this video. So today I'm here with a very exciting box of goodies from my very good friend, Nicole. Her name on Instagram is Nal's Dreamland. Please go check her out, you won't regret it. Her posts are so lovely, so like pastel, kind of cute to see. I love the, the stuff she posts. She's into a lot of like collectible figures, vintage toys, just cute stuff, some Sanrio stuff as well, uh, like remint miniatures, all that sort of stuff. Um, and she's absolutely lovely. She's from Germany, so we did a toy swap. We've done quite a few now, and it's also really nice because I was just thinking earlier how when we did our first toy swap, I feel like I didn't know her nearly as much as I know her now. Um, and at this point, I really would say she's like one of my closest uh, friends. I was gonna say online friends, but you know, most of my friends are online at this point, um, and friends are friends at the end of the day, and she's just absolutely lovely, and I appreciate her so much. Um, I'm really excited to see the lovely goodies that she sent me. So I've just opened the box uh, for the thumbnail. So this is what it looks like. Um, so we have a cute little, um, well, very big actually, um, card on top, uh, unicorn book club cut out bookmarks oh that's really cool i don't want to cut them out though because there's a note on the back so i won't be doing that uh, but they're really adorable so it says books are a uniquely portable magic that's so true and then there's another quote you can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me <laughs> that's really cute um so she's put hi nady thank you so so much for another awesome trade Toy hunting with you uh, from afar is often my favourite part of the day and nothing cheers me up after a stupid work assignment like a num nums picture with circles in four different colours. <laughs> Only few people would get it. <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, oh my gosh. Um, she, and then she put a side note. It's almost 11pm on a Friday so if none of what I wrote makes sense that's why. No, that made perfect sense. That is so funny. So I was buying a bunch of num nums and then I was getting some from a friend and all of this and I was sort of sending them across to a lot of different people and we'd all be like circling the ones that we kind of wanted. <laughs> circles in four different colours. I can't rip this or I can't cut this up now. Like literally, that is hilarious. Thank you so much. That's made my day. That's so funny. First item we have here is very, very exciting. I think this was one of the last things um, Nicole managed to find for me. I think she found this one online. And this is one of the Hatch and Walls Pixies Riders. Um, I haven't actually opened any of these yet. Um, a lovely lady, Coco in the Netherlands, recently sent me this one. Um, and then Nicole has sent me, I think it's this blue one here, I think. Yeah, because it's got the blue color. Um, so, and those were kind of the two main ones that I wanted. So this is so nice. So I've kind of got a lot of Hatch and Walls Pixies from Europe now. Um, but yeah, so adorable. I opened recently uh, the Hatch and Wolves Babies. Um, it was Christmas, like literally yesterday. Don't know when I uploaded this video, it probably would have been longer ago. Um, but for Christmas Day, my partner got me the Hatch and Wolves Pixies Baby Riders. And they are literally the cutest thing ever. Like, I really hope they release more of them because I'm obsessed. They're so tiny and so cute. So I'm really excited to open some full-size ones eventually. So I'll do a video on these. Um, so do subscribe and stay tuned if you'd like to see more uh, Hatch and Moore's Pixies. And then I can see my lovely supply of chocolate. Wow, free bars. Thank you so much. Um, perfect timing because I have eaten most of my treats over Christmas. Um, yeah, I love this chocolate. I say this every time, but it's literally my favourite vegan chocolate. Germany, I think, is one of the best places for vegan chocolate. Um, a lot of the best brands are there. I haven't really found one I really, really like in the UK yet. Although I am going to be trying some more uh, soon, hopefully, so we'll have to see. But yeah, I love this. It's so nice. So this is uh, the Vegans uh, White Strawberry Crisp, which is like strawberry chocolate and it's pink. You can't beat it. I think Nicole said that in a future trade she will send me, I think it's Lynn or like Lindor, who are bringing out a vegan chocolate bar and that used to be my favourite chocolate before I went vegan, so that would be really nice to try and it'll probably be in Germany first. So, so then next up we have some Hatchimals Pixies um, and these are the mini ones, so a lot of Hatchimals here, but this is my kind of new toy obsession and um, thankfully they're kind of in stores, you know, at the moment, so these are perfect for people to find me for trades and that because I love them um, and there's a lot of different types so here's one pack so you get one scene one mystery again this will be in a video um, and then here's this one I absolutely love this girl here she is so pretty um, so really looking forward to opening those um, and then also another one and here's this little cutie here with a little hat so yeah these are super adorable um, I recently bought a bunch of tiny little 
acrylic discs. I think I have one here. Um, and obviously, you, you know, you take the uh, layers off. What are words? <laughs> you take the layers off so that it's like uh, small, clear plastic. But I bought ones that are literally like like one and a bit centimeters big, maybe just two centimeters across, because I'm gonna uh, glue the dolls to them so that they're little stands um, and that'll be perfect. So that's gonna be adorable so I can display them all little, on little acrylic stands, but yeah, I love them. Uh, and then we have a secret crush doll, which is super exciting. These beads are so nice. I love the way they look. So I decided um, that I wasn't gonna collect the Secret Crush pets anymore, but I really still love the dolls. Um, and this one's from the second series, so really excited to see her. Kind of wanna just open this so I can show you guys the doll and also because I really wanna see her. Um, so this one is the, um, oh, what is it called? Like Rock Candy, or she has a specific name, um, but she looks so adorable. There's her head. It's like a, oh, like ring pop, I think that's what it is. And um, it's like, you, you can kind of get them at fairs and stuff. And yeah, so it's like a big kind of like sugary crystallized kind of uh, sweet. Yeah, I think Nicole had some sort of hack to be able to see the colors of these. Um, I don't fully know how she did it. I think through the packaging, you can see what color heart there is. And I think she figured out that this one would be purple or something like that. So she managed to get this one for me, which was really awesome. There we go, so here's the dress. So I love that that even looks like a uh, sort of like gem or something like that. Um, and then here is what goes into her head. So it's like a big sort of dummy. Um, and then you can put the bees in here. I'm not gonna do that right now because well, it's just gonna be messy and they probably will end up everywhere. Um, but yeah, she looks super adorable. I don't know which way this goes actually. I assume it's just the one way, or you could have it that way as well, actually. I'm not quite sure. Um, that actually looks cool that way because then you've got the blue to match her top. But yeah, she is really, really cute. I need to find a nice display for these. I was thinking, because they've got such small feet, I was thinking sometimes you can get like stands that have like a little light, almost like a lip at the end to kind of hold them in place. Sometimes they make them for like nail polish so that you kind of put it in and it can't, you know, and it can go so far. So I'm gonna look into those and kind of work out some measurements. Um, I'm really into buying stands and stuff at the moment because I've got so much stuff, which, you know, I'm so lucky and grateful for, um, but like not enough kind of storage and just like display stuff. So next up we have these LOLs and these are from furniture packs. Um, but Nicole basically, I think she said she just wanted the furniture. And so she was sending me the dolls, which is awesome because I really love the dolls and I don't really collect uh, the furniture. I don't really have space for that. But I know Nicole likes to make a lot of pictures with like little miniatures and stuff. So that worked out really well. So I think the dolls are just in here. Um, again, I am just gonna get them out for the sake of the video. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. So this one's actually the one that you can see on this box here. So adorable. I love the way her hair's all like braided up. And then the other one is this one here who's got incredibly glittery hair. Um, and I just love that color, she is so cute. So the packaging of these actually opens up to be a little playset, which is really quite cute. Uh, I'm not doing a very good job of this, kind of hard to show it on camera, but I love how wintry that is, that's really adorable. So here is the first one. I thought I'd just get her dressed up so I could show her a bit better. She does also come with the sunglasses. Uh, not a huge fan of those. I suppose I could maybe prop them on her head, which could look quite cool. Um, but I love her little outfit. The little jacket in particular is so cute. And here is her bottle. Uh, and then the second one is this one. And this one is definitely my favorite of the two. She's just so cute, very kind of pastel. And, and she has little ice skates as well. So yeah, super adorable. So thank you so much for sending me those. I really love them. Next up, we have some more of my favorite snacks. And oh my gosh, I can literally eat a bag of these right now. I adore these. So these are dried kind of pretzels, tomato and herb flavor, and two packs. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, they're just so, so nice, so moorish. I can literally, they're like quite salty as well. And I just love like really savory, salty stuff. And then last of all, I've saved these for last because I know Nicole was super excited uh, for me to open these. Um, and this is the new series of Baby Born. And I am so jealous that Germany gets them first. Um, but then Nicole reminded me that Baby Born is actually a German brand. Like, was it Zaf Creation or something like that? Um, yeah, so they're pretty much like, uh, they've got like a main office or something in Germany, I think. Um, so yeah, she's checked all of these. Um, and I think she made sure that they were different ones as far as I know. 
And I think I am just gonna open them now. I don't want the video to be super long, but we're sort of doing okay for time. Um, and I'll, I'll edit the boring bits out, probably including this rambling section. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna open these now because I know Nicole really wanted me to uh, see which one she'd found. So let's actually have a quick look at the checklist first. Um, I also actually ordered some of these recently off um, Amazon. Uh, I might do a separate video on that. I ordered three from Amazon, so hopefully I get some different ones. Um, so there's, oh, there's only nine. I could have sworn there was more. Did ser I think series one had 12, I could be wrong. It's kind of a good thing, probably. <laughs> They're quite hard to collect sometimes. Um, so yeah, really, really adorable. I kind of love all of them. I haven't really got a favorite or, you know, ones I'm really looking for. I will probably end up trying to collect them all. I recently also completed series one. I found the peas that I was missing and I was so happy. Um, so yeah, uh, they all look really cute though. So let's unravel these. I love the blanket they come in as well. This is really pretty. So let's have a look at these first ones. Oh my gosh, so I think this is the beach party twins. Oh my gosh, so it's like a little um, ball. Like a little blow up ball, I think. Is this meant to be like the little, um, why am I, I'm forgetting all words. I must be so happy and excited I can't talk anymore. Um, this is the little like where you blow air into it i don't know if it has a particular name but this is so cute oh my gosh and the little mermaids this is adorable well, that one's a mermaid i don't know if the other one is oh no so this one's a normal little one and the other one's a mermaid this is absolutely adorable so this little one looks like a pineapple that is so cute and then this second one Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. It's a little baby mermaid. <laughs> that is so adorable. And then if you pop them in here, I have to snip that humongous label off. That's what they look like. Oh, I love them. They're so cute. Thank you. So here is the second pack. Oh, it's the milk ones. Oh, so cute. To be fair, I do actually really, this is probably is one of my favorites. I don't want to really pick favorites, but I love the idea of like milk. It's obviously a vegan milk. And then the little babies. Um, I like little cows, I think. Oh my gosh, they just get cuter and cuter. So it has like a little cow hat and a little cow outfit. That is so cute. And I like with some of these, you can actually, they've got like a little thumb sticking out and you can put it in their mouth so it looks like they're sucking their thumb. That is so adorable. Oh my gosh, and this one is like a little pink cow. It's like strawberry milk and it's got like a little bell around its neck that is so cute oh my gosh i really do love cows and like farm animal stuff they're so sweet i just want to free them all <laughs> so here they are in the little pouch and this is cool because it's almost like a sort of what's it called like pleather or like a sort of fake leather effect that is so cute i really love this one and then here is the last one i really wish they were coded I just noticed there is a code on the bottom, but they're all the same, I think. So that's kind of annoying. So it's just a batch code. I love when toys have like codes and, you know, even if you don't know specifically which one you're going to get, you can, you know, just get different codes. But yeah, so let's go for this next one. I feel like this one might have three. I think Nicole did manage to find some triplets. Triplets usually are really hard to find. <gasps> ah, <laughs> it's the cotton candy one or the candy floss one. Oh my gosh, I love that. So the other, what other triplets are there? So there's jelly and seashell. So yeah, this is actually probably my favorite of the triplets um, because I don't really care much for like jelly on toast. Um, although the seashell one does look quite cute, but yeah, this is definitely probably my favorite of uh, the free triplets. So thank you so much. That must've been a lucky find. So let's look at the babies. Definitely save all this paper so I can wrap some stuff in it. Oh my gosh, it's like a little lollipop. I love that it's got his arms up. That's really cute, it's got a little lollipop head. And then the next one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute and it's a little ginger baby. Was the other one? Oh, the other one was ginger as well. I don't know why I didn't notice that. <laughs> so cute. Love that they're all stripey. It's very um, like carnival themed. And the last one, also a little ginger baby. And this one has like a little like hat or something. Sorry, my hands are a little bit shaky. I'm 
quite hungry. I need to eat something. That one wants to pop out, but these are so cute. I love how fluffy this is. It's, the use of textures in these toys is really cool. So adorable. I absolutely adore these. I actually can't pick a favorite. I am quite drawn to the milk one, but they're all so cute. So thank you so much, Nicole. I really appreciate that. And also trying to like make sure you sent me, you know, non-duplicates is really sweet as well. Because blind bags can really suck sometimes. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them. And I've seen that there's already a third series of these mini babies which has come out. And I literally can't keep up. Um, you know, the UK, we haven't even got the second series yet. I'm glad I finished the first series, but yeah it's gonna take a bit of finding but i think they've only very recently come out in um america and it's not even in like many stores to be honest but yeah anyway this video is incredibly long so that was everything so much stuff i'm kind of overwhelmed right now um but i'm gonna send the call message right now and say thank you so much um but yeah and thank you guys also for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite item was that i received in this lovely package don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye